May 19, 2024 Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi's helicopter crashes in Iran. The incident occurred approximately 86 km northeast of the region of Tabriz in, in Iran. This area of Tabriz is characterized by rugged mountains and dense forests. According to the Iranian officials, the main reason for this incident is the bad weather condition there. On the other hand, Former Iranian officials believe that America is behind all this. The American official says that America is not involved in this incident. Like him, Israeli officials has also tweeted that it was not us. So friends, what's the real truth? What's going to happen behind all this and who is really responsible for it? Let's find out. This is not the first incident of helicopter crash in Iran. Around 22 helicopter crashes have taken place in Iran since 2000. Iran's aviation system used to come under the US. It has been banned since 1979. There were 3 helicopters in this convoy of President Raisi, but only that helicopter crashed in which President Raisi and the foreign minister of Iran were present. From here this question also comes to mind. that if the weather conditions were not good then whose idea was it to take this flight and that too in the hilly part similarly in recent years relations between iran and azerbaijan have soured on the other hand azerbaijan has strong ties with israel it is said that there are mossad offices here in january 2020 major general qasim soleimani was martyred in a drone strike the responsibility of which was taken by Mossad and the CIA at that time the enmity between Iran and Israel is long standing in 2024 Iran fired more than 300 missiles and drones near the Israeli border after this hatred between both countries intensified further another major reason is the Israel Palestine conflict Iran has always been a friend of Palestine on the other hand Israel accuses Iran of aiding Hamas. Iran's population is divided into two parts: those who strictly follow Islam and those who are liberal. Ibrahim Raisi made hijab mandatory for women in Iran. Mehsa Amini, an Iranian citizen, was arrested by police for not wearing hijab, and she died while in police custody. After this incident, protests against Raisi started all over Iran. The most powerful figure in Iran's government is considered to be the supreme leader of Iran. Currently, Ali Khamenei is considered the strong the supreme leader can directly in elect or reject any Iranian for any position in the government. Iran's military officers, chief justices, national ministries, and even the president are elected at the discretion of Ali Khamenei. No work in the country can be done without the approval of Khamenei. Similarly in Iran, millions of dollars of foundations and many organizations are under the influence of Ali Khamenei. The position of supreme leader in Iran's constitution was established in 1979. In that pivotal year, Khomeini boldly proclaimed Iran as an Islamic republic, prompting a nationwide referendum. With a staggering 98.2% of Iranian voters embraced the Islamic Republic. Following Khomeini's ascent, Iran's supreme leader throne was passed to Ali Khamenei upon Khomeini's demise in 1989. The primary task of the Iranian president is to maintain relations and sign various agreements with other countries and international organizations. Similarly, they are responsible for foreign policy, national planning, budget and overseeing Iran's current affairs but the president makes decisions on these matters with the help of the supreme leader this is why according to article 131 of Iran's constitution if the president of Iran dies the vice president will take on all responsibilities with the approval of the supreme leader after the death of president ibrahim raisi vice president mohammad mukhbar is handling responsibilities After the president's death, elections for the presidency will be held in Iran within the next 50 days.
President Ibrahim Raisi was successful in the 2021 elections and was considered a strong candidate for 2025. This raises the question of who will be the next supreme leader if the current one passes away. Generally, the supreme leader is chosen by the chief justice, military officers and national ministries. Additionally, a referendum is also conducted. Ibrahim Raisi was also considered a strong candidate for supreme leader because, like Sayyid Ali Khamenei, he supported the Islamic revolution in Iran. After Ibrahim Raisi's death, Sayyid Ali Khamenei's son Mujtaba is being considered a strong candidate for supreme leader. Similarly, another question arises about what will happen to Iran after Ibrahim Raisi's death. Iran's republic is quite intelligent. Due to wars with the United States, Israel and other countries, Iran has increased the number of its national committees. Many incidents have occurred in Iran since the Islamic Revolution where Iran's leadership has been challenged. Similarly, the CIA and Mossad are very active in Iran. This is why with the presence of large national committees, Iran easily controls these problems. Ibrahim Raisi established strategic relations with Syria. This supported Russia in the Russia-Ukraine war. In 2023, China and Iran signed 20 different agreements. Ibrahim Raisi restored Iran's relation with Saudi Arabia. Similarly, Iran has joined many alliances in BRICS, G20, OIC and Asia. In the Gaza-Israel war, Ibrahim Raisi openly opposed Israel and America and announced actions against them.